What's up everyone? Uh, today we are actually going to do a small little product review. Uh, because for the last couple years I have been in a market for a small pressure washer, an electric pressure washer. And it had to be really small because I wanted to keep it in the garage. I do have a gas powered uh, pressure washer that I use for all the normal everyday, uh, not everyday, but the normal house maintenance stuff around the house. So I needed something that was actually going to be small fit in the garage so I could quickly wash the cars. Um, because I don't take the cars to the car wash. I hand wash it all the time. So I wanted something where I could just kind of help speed up the process a little bit. So it, there was a couple key things. It had to be small. It had to be very lightweight and it had to be electric and it had to be a little powerful. So that actually brings me to this pressure washer by Peck Tisho. Um, it was fairly, uh, I guess it wasn't fairly inexpensive because it was $149.99 I believe on Amazon when I got it. And what I'm trying to do now is actually try to actually like try other brand name products and just like, especially for items around the house that I'm not going to use on a regular basis. You know, I don't want to break the bank unless I really have to. But I did like the concept of this actually having a hose reel that you could actually wind up. Um, it also came with a little foam cannon, which was key for somebody that's trying to wash their car. Now, it does not have a, like a little spigot um, connector for like in a detergent. So that's gonna be a little interesting to kind of see how that works. But like I said, I'm not looking to use this as my primary pressure washer or actually looking to use it to replace my pressure washer. I have a pressure washer. This is kind of just an extra tool. And that's my thing. When I'm buying things that are not actually like my necessity tools, I'm not looking to really go all in. And at 150, you're still spending a good bit of money, but uh, if it breaks, I feel a lot better knowing that it breaks. And if it's not, ideal then at least I know I didn't spend eight hundred dollars on it and it does say it goes up to 3500 psi I don't really think that's true but we'll see how powerful it actually really is and I don't really need it to get that strong it's fairly easy to set up but one of the key features that I really needed is I needed it to be really small I I wanted it to wear like this thing is small so it's this from here to from here to here is only 11 inches and then from this side to this side is nine inches well from the back to the side because the wheels a little wider it also comes with a storage little bin and a cut the different nozzles the red one is missing because it's in my pocket right now um, but that's in there and yeah so we'll test it out it's not the ideal day to test it out because it is a little drizzling but i did want to wash off the cars really quickly now I'm, i am going to test it out on this spot right here uh we had a uh, valve cover gasket leak on the Optima, so it was leaking oil. That's fixed now, so I have to, I'm just going to try to see if I clean this up. It's not necessary to clean it up because I am going to treat the entire floor sooner or later and then epoxy the floor, so all this is going to be covered anyway, but I figured it'd be a good test to see how good it is and go from there. But if it's really good and you guys are interested in it, I'll drop a link in the description so you guys get a handle on yourself. Uh, but let's let's check it out. All right, so in order to attach the foam cannon, you actually have to take off the um, the actual wand and put it directly in. So let's see how it works. It makes a lot of bubbles. I can tell that much. All right, so this section right here is where I had oil and actually did a lot better than I thought I was gonna do. Um, I could have probably get off a lot more if I spent more time just sitting here spraying it, but I just wanted to kind of get like the top gunk layer off. And then here's another spot, which is actually worse. And it actually did a really fairly decent job. Like I wasn't expecting it to send it all the way. So that's, that's fine with me. Um, yeah. I can't really complain too much about that. And then for the actual car itself, what I did was I sprayed it down with the foam can and I still went through with the rag and actually wiped it down. Um, and then I used a pressure washer then to kind of wipe off the dirt. I it definitely can't just clean it by itself, but I also wouldn't trust it to anyway because I don't want to chip off any type of paint. Um, but it did help with cleaning the rims pretty good. So um, just using the nozzle by itself did a really good job on the rims. But for the paint itself, what I did was I used a foam can to get it all foamy. Then I quickly ran around with the rag and kind of wiped it all down. 
And from there, I was able to actually um, just rinse it off and it worked out really well. Now, like I said, this is not something that I recommend getting if this is gonna be your primary pressure washer. Um, there are definitely better ones out there. I really just needed something for like small tasks um, so I didn't have to bring out the real pressure washer and go from there. And also, I really don't wanna chip the paint on the car so I don't wanna to go too, too big and crazy. Like right now, it's a lot faster to kind of use a spray, the foam can and to foam up the car and then come through with the rag and wipe it all off than using a bucket of soap and going little by little and dipping my hand. It's just too much work. Um, so this actually did speed up the process a lot and it's good to go. So like I said, I'll drop the links in the description so if you guys want to check it out yourself. It is still fairly expensive at 150 bucks, but you know, if you're looking for something that just to kind of just a little bit more pressure than just the regular holes and you have the extra funds and I definitely recommend it. Um, I'll see how it lasts long term durability wise, but it's kind of so far fits everything I need with being small and lightweight and just kind of speed up a little bit of process and I don't even need it to change the world for me. But until next time, 